Hey YouTube, it's me again, here with an actual fish, fish video. This is going to be an update on both of my tanks. Um, here's my cichlid tank. Um, as you can see, I really need to get a pleco, or an algae eater. My fire mouth's hiding right now, he's a little shy. Um, interesting story about him. All these fish were from my original fish tank, my original cich cichlid tank. Well, I shouldn't say my original cichlid tank, I should say my... The one before this one, but they they had all been beaten up, and um, I moved into a different tank, and turns out I ended up getting rid of the other cichlids and was able to move these guys back into this tank. Um, so these are the smallest smallest of the monsters I used to keep. There's a red jewel in there. It's very pretty. Red jewels are one of the toughest little fish I have seen. Actually, one of the toughest I've kept. Um, yeah, and then my little tiger convict, she's around here somewhere. Um, she was one of my, I had, um, four jewels, two fire mouths, and, uh, I think three convict cichlids. Now I'm down to one of each. I think she's in there somewhere. Oh, there she is. I'll see if I can get a, there she is. She's a little shy. Sometimes her color, um, her color uh, isn't as good as it, you know, could be. But she's really um, black and, uh, bl bl yeah, there she comes. Come on, say hi to everybody. There she is. She's got blue on her fins right now. She's got a little bit of red on her stomach. Um, excellent. Whoops, sorry. I think I scared him. Excellent little fish. This one's really tough too. She um Yeah, she's really tough. She actually um was the last fish I moved out of the uh the old cichlid tank. And um Yeah. She uh went head to head with a couple of Jack Dempseys and uh Jaguars and one day she finally looked like she was gonna die, so um you know I was able to pull her out in time to save her. But um these smaller fish, I really shouldn't have kept them with these bigger, the bigger fish I did keep them with. That um, Firemouth got his tail chewed off, and you could see his tail's a little uh, stubby. But they all made it. Um, you know, I've been meaning to get some other fish to. Oh, I do have another fish in here, actually. Before I forget, um, he hides a lot. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see him. You can see the stripe right there. He's a striped Raphael catfish. Um, he's a. It's gotten bigger, you know. It's a tough little catfish I keep with these guys. I'm gonna get a pleco eventually one day, but um, yeah, that's a cichlid tank. Anyway, um, back over here to the um peaceful tank, my community tank. As you can see, I have added a considerable amount of platies to this tank, along with my sore tails. Um, I've been working hard to clean up my tank, and um, I've done a couple water changes. And um, yeah, all I've really been able to uh, put up with right now, or be patient enough to do, is uh, platies. Got a couple of tetras and a molly, and I think I have. A, uh, yeah, the frog's still in here somewhere um but uh yeah these uh platies are really nice i've um been really lucky to find these um tuxedo pineapple platies i guess i guess that's what i'm gonna call them got a cup a uh, couple of the gray with red tails and i have an orange with uh, a red tail also i've only been able to find males though there's a twin bar platy it's mickey mouse there's a um Mary Gold. Um, but yeah, it's just um, it's been hard with this uh, this tank in particular because um, I don't know I've it's been getting sick a lot and I've been you know fighting to keep them healthy from time to time and you know I'll I'll, I'll put as many fish as you see in here now and then if it gets sick I'll lose you know three out of four of them, you know, three out of four will go, or, you know, four out of five will die, and it just gets really difficult sometimes. 
Um, these are not cichlids. They're not as tough as cichlids are. But they're definitely a lot easier to keep. And um, as far as temperament goes, they're all peaceful. But um, their uh, immune systems are just seem really weak, I guess. But yeah, I flipped my uh, piece of driftwood over. The other side's covered in algae. So I figured maybe the algae will go away and this side will grow algae on and I'll flip it back over later. You know, hopefully that works out. But, um, yeah. You know, just a, uh, a little bit on my um, fish tank. And, um, community tank. Alright. Looks like, um, catch you guys later. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, or actually, I do have a couple minutes left. Let me show you my filtration system. I got dual 30 gallon filters set up here. And then, whatcha? 55 gallon uh, Marineland filter. I need to change that wheel out. Uh, that actually is supposed to grow beneficial bacteria on it to help um, keep the. Uh, certain kind of chemical out of the water I can't think of the name right now but that's a 55 gallon filter and here's another 30 this is a 29 gallon tank so when I put a lot of fish in here in my cichlid tank I've got more than enough filtration power to handle it in both my tanks actually um, I've actually got a plant growing light bulb in, um, in this one I tried living plants for a while a lot of work, a lot of upkeep a lot of fun though. It looked great. You know, I put like four hours a week, five hours a week into it. Like, it looked awesome. But yeah, my cichlid tank was um, pretty cool. I used to rearrange the rocks a lot as well. Um, I might get back into doing that if I can get a couple more cichlids in here, but we'll see. It's hard once you got a good equilibrium of cichlids. These three get along really well for cichlids, but um, Sometimes, uh, you know, if I feel like getting a new fish, then I'd have to rearrange the tank and do some fun stuff with that. Um, actually, here is a piece of live plant left. It's a, uh, man, we call it seaweed. Oh, crazy. His gills were just flaring out. Oh, man, I don't think I caught it. See them butt heads a little bit over territory. Um, I got a good balance in this tank. They don't tend to fight. If they get too big, I'll, I have a pet store that I usually give my big cichlids away to. But um, this little piece of seaweed right here, will, it's a little piece I've been saving for the summer. As soon as summer gets around here, I'm going to throw this little piece in the pond and grow a whole bunch of it again. And then I'll take it another piece out of the pond when it gets cold again. That's how I keep um, the... You know what? I cannot remember what the name of that plant is, but that's why I keep that alive in the winter, is I bring it into my fish tanks, and um, just, uh, that's, that's how it goes, um, yeah, questions are always welcome, I might do a water change video if you guys, I know there's videos of that already, but um, yeah, hopefully, uh, more to come later, hopefully, you know, I can get some, uh, variety going here other than just platies but yeah all right laters